Today uh, I'd like to show a method how to um, repair a frequency clash in the low end using a um, dynamic EQ from Melter Production. First let's listen to the track and we will hear that the bass part and this Sündenvox part um, are fighting each other. It's happening now. And again. Okay, before re repair, I'd like to um, visualize the problem. And for this purpose, I'm also using a very useful melder tool. It's the um, M multi analyzer, and I switched it on the Synvox part. And if we start the playback now, <laughs> this is where the problem uh, probably occurs. And what I'm doing now. I'm giving uh, this um, analyzer a track name, in this case Sidvox. Now I'm copying this tool to the base part. And let's see what you can do here. Call it base. And the trick is now I can give these tracks uh, different colors. Red for base, for example, and green for the box. And now we can watch both tracks in the same spectrum analyzer. Red for bass and green for the synth box. Now watch this. This is exactly where the problem happens, and um, both the bass and the synth box add, and you get this resonance at about 90 hertz. Okay, so far for the problem. Now, how can we repair it? My idea is to use um, the um, M Autodynamic EQ from Melter Dynamics because it has a si uh, sidechain option. Here it is. And what I want to do is I want to apply a lower shift filter as soon as the base um, place at the frequency. I switch to low shelf, that's okay. Okay, and what the EQ should do is, when, whenever um, the base is playing at the sign, same time as the Synvox track, the uh, EQ should go down, like this. Okay, I'm doing it manually now. Like this. Down again. So the idea is to, to, to keep the uh, upper frequencies of these low wax and but this should happen only if the, the bass is playing the tone at the same time. Okay, I'm s uh, muting some tracks so that we can better hear the problem.
Okay, let's start it. Okay, I switch on the sidechain mode now. And on the bass part, we must send now the, the, the bass track signal to the sidechain output. Okay, bug again. The sidechain track doesn't appear. Okay, let's try workaround. I'm deleting this plugin again. Sorry for the bugs. Maybe it's a problem on instrument tracks because these are instrument tracks. I'm trying it on a audio track now. Okay, switch side chain on. Now I'll try on this track to send. Ah, here it is. Okay. Sorry, it's buggy, but we got it now. And now I'm copying, I mean, I'm moving this plugin to the destination here, which is the Synvox. Okay, here we are. And let's see if we can activate the send on the base track. Yes, we can. So this is a, a a quick workaround if your um, sidechain central doesn't work uh, on instrument tracks, install it on true audio tracks and then you can move it to the instrument tracks and then it will work. All right. Now let's, oh sorry, let's put the dynamic EQ into action. Low shelf, that's okay. So I'm activating now the sidechain. I tell him to suppress the signal by say 10 dB. And let's see what happens. Sorry. Ah, okay. I must activate the set. Sorry, guys, my fault. Okay. <laughs> Next trial. Here we are. And let's start again. Ah, okay. That's as well I want to see. Now you can see whenever the, the, the bass is playing its deep notes, the uh, low end of the synvox is cut away. Maybe a bit more. Okay, now let's look to the analyzer if the problem is solved. I hope you realized that when the bass plays the, the deep note, 
then for a short time the frequency of the synbox which is green is suppressed and then it rises gradually and that's ex exactly what should happen okay i'm switching off now the uh, equalizer that's uh, how it was before see look at the green curve it's going up here I switch it on again and you will see this frequency is suppressed and it's much lower see okay that's it friends this is the trick how you can solve um, frequency fighting problems uh, in this case in the low end of, of course uh, you can do it with any frequency using the m auto dynamic eq and the sidechain activated function and it, if it doesn't work uh, use my hack in order to uh, circumvent the uh, bug in cubase 7. thanks for listening goodbye